Today we're going to take a look at James chapter 2 verses 14 through 18. This passage of James chapter 2 verses 14 through 18 I believe is one of the most misinterpreted and misunderstood passages in the Bible. James asked the question in chapter 2 verses 14 through 16 as I quote from the New King James Version of what does it profit, my brethren, if someone says he has faith but does not have works? Can faith save him? If a brother or sister is naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you says to them, Depart in peace, be warmed and filled, but you do not give them the things which are needed for the body, what does it profit? James goes on to proclaim that faith by itself without works is dead. See, he says in James chapter 2, verse 17. The separation of verse 17 and verse 18 shows that James has made his statement as verse 17 ends a paragraph and verse 18 begins a new paragraph with an example of his proclamation in the preceding verses. In James chapter 2, verse 18 is the example of the objection to his proclamation that one may say, you have faith and I have works. The reply of James in verse 18 is, Show me your faith without your works, and I will show you my faith by my works. This is a command that faith without works is dead, as we learn from James chapter 2, verse 17. This is an example that one's faith in Christ Jesus will result in active works. The big misunderstanding in this passage is that some believe there is a choice to be made by this section of biblical instruction by James, the brother of Jesus. This is the passage of which many people try to incorrectly contrast with Paul's instruction in Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 through 10, as I quote from the English Standard Version, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not of your own doing, it is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. The truth is that both James and Paul are, prof are professing salvation in Christ Jesus through faith. But James goes on to speak more directly of the works, that is, as Paul says in Ephesians 2.10, for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. The message by both James and Paul is very important that we understand in its proper context. We as Christians do not have a choice of faith or works as a means to gain salvation, but through our faith in Christ Jesus and the changed, sincerely repentant life that we now live in Christ Jesus is a product of, or outflowing of the works that show our change, sincerely repentant life that we now live in Christ. Dear Lord, thank you for inspiring James to give us this teaching that shows us we are to be active in our relationship with you through your Son, our Savior, Christ Jesus. We are your hands and feet in this physical world, and the calling you give each of us in Christ is unique to each of us, but the action of the works that is in the product of our salvation and change lives in Christ is that which we must do to show our faith. Thank you, Jesus, for this privilege of serving you to show my faith in you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.